God's Word Online Sound Doctrine The Foundation of the Elementary Teachings of Christ Repentance from Dead Works What the Scriptures Say About Repentance Matthew 4 verse 17 From that time, Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 9 verse 13 But go and learn what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners, to repentance. Luke 13 verses 1 to 5 There were some present at that very time who told him about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans, because they suffered in this way? Or those eighteen on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse sinners than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Luke 15 verses 3 to 7 so he told them this parable, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country, and go after the one that is lost, until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Acts 2 verses 35 to 40 Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this they were cut to the heart, and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other words he bore witness and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. Acts 17 verses 30 to 31 The times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent, because he has fixed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed, and of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. 2 Corinthians 7 verses 10 to 11 For godly grief produces a repentance that leads to salvation without regret, whereas worldly grief produces death. For see what earnestness this godly grief has produced in you, but also what eagerness to clear yourselves, what indignation, what fear, what longing, what zeal, what punishment. At every point you have proved yourselves innocent in the matter. 2 Peter 3 verses 7 to 10 But by the same word the heavens and earth that now exist are stored up for fire, being kept until the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. But do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the heavenly bodies will be burned up and dissolved, and the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. Revelation 2 verses 4 to 5 But I have this against you, that you have abandoned your first love. Remember therefore from where you have fallen. Repent, and do the works you did at first.
If not, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. The next elementary teaching of Christ's study will be on the topic of baptism. Please like and comment, and share this with your friends.